my playoffs build. We're building the wall today, as you can see. see we build already a lot of it. So here's the where the wall are gonna be, and that it's kind of like a window right here. I'll okay. have a window kind of. I want a window kind of here in the middle. This is going to be the first part of my daughter's playhouse build using the scrap section of shipping container that was left over from my shop build and the mini container conversion. Uh, if you'll remember, I started with a 40 foot container, made half of it into the shop, made the front half into a mini container, and this is the little uh, red headed stepchild of the middle section. That's why it doesn't have a roof because that was used to uh, make the back end of the mini container. So let me show you how I got it to this point and then I'll talk about what is to come in the next part of this and should only be two parts. I put some heavy gauge steel in the ground. It's concreted about a little over two feet and then these will get some extra supports and then I will set that shipping container. I do have the corner supports finally welded in and this frame is super rock solid. It's ready for me to put the shipping container section on and start framing everything out. How is it level? Because the bubble's in between. Oh, cool. If you ever run into twisted boards, here is a quick little technique uh, my dad just showed me. Just using a pair of channel locks or heavy pliers, you can just twist it like there, have somebody hold it, and then just zip it into place. So I've got the back wall done and you might be wondering why I don't have an angle support up just yet. Uh, the reason for that is I am just building a square wall to make sure that both of these walls, since they're at different heights, are square. And then uh, now that I have them square, I will uh, line up my angled support and then I'll get my measurement for the angled support that will go on the other side. Uh, it's basically just a way for me to cheat <laughs> to figure out this angle over here. That is not that far out of the ordinary. We have a military base over there, Davis Monthan, as well as some other military installations. But normally we get the A-10s and F-16s uh, doing flybys, which sometimes are pretty cool. Uh, but usually in this area, it's uh, Border Patrol helicopters. These walls are still a bit out of square, so I'm just using a ratchet strap to, to square them up so I can put this angled piece on. Okay. Pound it flat.
Okay, so now you're all caught up to how I got it to this stage. What do I have planned to finish this out um, for the next part of this series? Like I said, I'm gonna try to keep it just to two videos to not drag this out too long. Uh, but I will be painting it probably the similar color that I painted my shop. And I'll probably trim it out in, you know, kind of the same uh, scheme, but I will make it kind of kid friendly with some colors here and there. I'm going to use the same roofing that I used on the shop. I have a few leftover scrap pieces of the Enduro roofing. And I plan on making a little skylight section in the middle with a polycarbonate panel uh, to kind of add some light to the playhouse. I probably won't add electric to it. This side over here, I plan on adding some little climbing holds and making this kind of like a climbing wall. And then this section right here, um, I'm going to build a little balcony out probably two and a half to three feet. And that'll probably be a welded metal frame. And then I'll put uh, wood on the top. The siding will probably be the red wood uh, siding that I used for the upper section of the shop. And then from that balcony, I may have a little staircase, but one thing I want to build is a bridge that goes out this direction. And uh, if you're familiar with the way all of this uh, land slopes on my property, it slopes up going to my shop. And what I will do is just have it uh, basically level the entire way. So it might be like a 30 foot, 40 foot walkway and they can just, uh, I don't know, have a level walkway and just, I don't know, a fun bridge. I, I like bridges and uh, you know, I think my daughter will too. She can, I don't know, do whatever she does off of it. And uh, that is pretty much it. Oh, the inside I will probably finish out with maybe some drywall or, or something like that. But I plan on having a little table, a couple chairs and maybe a flip out bunk bed. Uh, so, so my daughter and I can have some little camp out nights um, in here. So that's pretty much it. I forgot to mention two other things. The windows, if you'll notice, they are the exact same size of frames that I used for the shipping container shop. So I'm going to put the same exact utility windows that I used for the shop in those windows. And then uh, the flooring, I will definitely add a flooring to kind of cover up the shipping container uh, plywood. I, I'm sure it's not great stuff. I might do something to seal it in. And that is pretty much all I'm gonna do for today. So hopefully the next video you will see this as a cute little playhouse with a bridge going to it, a climbing wall or whatever else I uh, figure on uh, adding to it. So as always, I thank you guys for watching. Uh, check me out on Instagram. That is the social media I've been doing recently and uh, we will see you next time. Hey there guys. Um, is it ready? Yeah. Oh, hey there guys. Welcome back to my building. My, my playhouse film. We're going to be doing some work, and my dad's going to be helping, and um, we're going to do all this kind of working stuff. I don't know if you know it. We're going to build a playhouse today, and so here's all the frames for it, right? And here's a hole that you don't want to fall into. If you be like this, you go fall into it. Yeah, and we might need grass. We don't know it's been... Now we're gonna, Dad, when are we gonna get started?